the Santa watch Mudmaster homage it's a good watch it's good value too Good shot of what the watch looks like in natural light. A lot of watch channels want to show you everything in studio lights. There's a few that likes to show you watches in their natural light. Got a good quality strap. No complaints, no regrets for the price of these watches. Here's some more bad lawn. That one hasn't been cut in a while. Look at that. Some garbage laying around. Wearing a path instead of cutting the grass. Old railroad track, nobody's on. That's a bad lawn, you guys. There you go. There's another bad wall, you guys. See how one side is painted the wrong color, doesn't match with the other side? I consider that a bad wall. What do you guys think? Is that a bad wall? It's a pretty bad wall, isn't it? Two different colors. So, we can fix it with this watch. Show you what this, this uh, sandal watch looks like in the shade. You saw it earlier in the direct sun, so here's a shade picture. Or video. You can see how it's got the day, date. These kind of watches don't have a whole lot of features, just the basic features. So less stuff to break too. So they're inexpensive watches, but they look good and they function good. No regrets. Good metal buckle on them. So this bad wall. The only way you can prove a bad wall is to have a good watch. Guys, here's some better lawn to bounce things out. You saw lots of bad lawn, so I'm going to show you some good lawn. Take a real good look, you guys. Take a real good look. This is what a good lawn looks like. See the grass is fresh cut. No weeds, no weird animals, no reptiles. The watch looks good behind the grass too, or in front of the grass rather.
You guys don't have to spend much money to get one of these watches. It's a good sized watch, too low the size of it. Don't have to go bankrupt to have a watch. You could even get one of these while you're saving for one of those new Rolex, one of those 41 millimeter Rolex. You could get one of these in the meantime. Show you some more grass. So what do you guys think of those new Rolex that are out anyway? I'll tell you what I think. I think they're quite expensive. And I hear that some of them on the gray market are about three times the price of the AD price. So whoever wants to go in and pay that, I guess they'd have to quit paying their cable TV bill to save up for that. Here's some more wall, you guys. A little bit better than the early one I showed you. And here's some watch in front of it. This watch looks better in front of a wall than a Frankenstein Rolex. Stretch bracelet, missing link, Frankenstein link. See, you can make a watch look good in front of a wall for less than 20 bucks. Look at that. You can back up from the wall too. See that? All angles. Look at that. This watch actually helps improve the look of a wall. You could use this in place of a Mudmaster watch. You don't even have to pay. I think the Mudmasters must be upwards seven, eight hundred dollars in some areas. So you guys think. Man, that looks like a bad paint job right there, doesn't it? Guess you could call that Frankenstein road work. Frankenstein line work. I don't know. This is almost as bad as a Frankenstein Rolex, that paint. Here's some more bad lawn. Bad cup tree, bad lawn, uncut grass. Watch snob style. If I can improve that with a value priced watch. Didn't have to dump 20 grand into this or even five grand into that. 20 bucks. 20 bucks in the lawnmower. You can have a good lawn. Look at that. You can have some kind of Rolex on your wrist and have to sacrifice and have a lawn like this. Property standards might get after you. That's a chance you gotta take, right? More good lawn, you guys. It's like walking on the easy street. Lawn.